Hi there, Scotty Sanders here. It is not too late. Bronnie Ware was an Australian nurse who served several years in palliative care, which is helping patients in their last 12 years of life. And she recorded their dying epiphanies and turned it into a book called The, five, the Top Five Regrets of the Dying. And I thought you might be interested in this list. I'm telling you, it's intriguing to me and, and really helped me to just reflect what's what do I want to be what do I want to be thinking about in my latter part of my life? So here are the top five regrets of the dying, according from Bronnie Ware from her book. And the first one is this: I wish I had the courage to live life true to myself and not the life that others expected of me. And you may deal with that a little bit. That's something, I, I don't know, I've always had the blessing of my parents and others and support. So I've never had that where I feel like I need to live a life for someone else or vicariously try to be someone else. So that that's not a struggle for me. The second one is this, I wish I hadn't worked so hard. And by the way, every male patient said this. Now, there are times that I feel that way that, man, life is going by and I'm working so much or doing certain things, but I've learned to have much better work-life balance through the years. Here's the third one. I wish I had the courage to express my feelings. So maybe that's one that you would struggle with. Here's the fourth one. I wish I had stayed in touch with my friends. I know I think back to my childhood growing up in high school, a lot of the friends I had back in uh, elementary or middle school or high school, they're not necessarily my friends now, so maybe that's one I could definitely work on. It's not that I don't have good friends now, but I don't have some friends that I grew up with. Here's the fifth one. It's this, I wish I had let myself be happier. You know, life is just so fast, it goes by. We need to enjoy every day. Every day really is a gift and a blessing. So let me ask you, what is your greatest regret so far in your life? I want you to think about that for a second. Then I want you to know it is not too late for you to achieve or change that before you die. Do something about it. Really, and I heard this the other day, that C is between the letter B and D. B is you know, when you're born, D is death, C is choice, the choices that you can make to change your trajectory on where you're going now. All right, I hope this helped you. I really enjoyed thinking through that and really challenged me personally. I hope it will do the same for you. But listen, I want you to know about a brand new free resource we, we're making available to you. It's called uh, Finding the 25th Hour the checklist challenge. It's a great tool to help you in your planning of your day, being more productive and managing where you spend your time, but it's totally free. So make sure you check that out. Well, listen, until next time, live well and lead well.